Hey everybody, today we are gonna be making this cool abstract sci-fi head in blender. So let's jump into the video. Delete the default cube. Import the 3D model into the viewport. Uh, change its rotation in x axis to 0 degree and z axis to 180 degree. Reduce the scale to 0.1. Set the origin as geometry to origin. Apply shade flat. Go to edit mode then face select. Press C on your keyboard and select and delete the faces around the eye. Uh, actually not one eye but uh, both the eyes. Uh, actually you don't need to do that with full perfection. Uh, after deleting the faces it should look like similar to this one. Now for setting up the scene select the camera and make a few changes to its location and rotation values to get a desired look. Uh, you can go with uh, any other values you want but you want the exact same look just follow this tutorial step by step. Now to make things more quicker just input the values as shown in your screen. Uh, go to camera properties and uh, change focal length value to 100mm and uh, shift x to 0.3. Switch the render engine from EV to cycles. Select CPU or GPU. Enter viewport and render max samples to 128. In color management, change the look to very high contrast and view transform to standard. Select the light source. Change the type of light from point to area. Reduce the power of the light to 30 watts. Change the shape from rectangle to disc. Increase the size to 1.6 meters. Now go to transform properties and insert the exact values for the location, rotation and scale values of the light source as shown in the video. Now duplicate the light source and enter the exact values for the location, rotation and scale as shown in the video. Reduce the power to 4 watts and size to 1.4 meters. Reduce color to all the way dark in world properties. Now go to rendered mode to get a look of the scene. Uh, you can easily observe that uh, by inputting this exact number of values, uh, the main purpose was to create a soft light over the 3D model and not a hard kind of light. Uh, select the 3D model, add a decimate modifier and select planner. Then add a wireframe modifier and increase the thickness to 0.1 meter. Uncheck Replace Original and Event Thickness and check Relative Thickness. Then add a Displace Modifier and press New. Change the Strength Value to 0.3. Change the Type of Texture to Clouds, Noise Basis to Cell Noise and decrease the Size to 0.1. Again head over to Rendered Mode to get a quick look of the scene. For the shading part, head over to Shader Editor. Select the 3D model, increase Metallic and Specular to 1 and reduce Roughness to 0.32. Add a Color Ramp node and join it to Base Color. Then add a Gradient Texture node and join it to Color Ramp. Flip the Color Ramp and switch from Linear to Cardinal. Now select the Black Color Stop and increase its value to 0.6. Add a Point Light to the viewport. Reduce the power to 5 watts and decrease radius to 0. For the color of the point light, enter the hex score as shown in the video. Uncheck cast shadow option to get this interesting effect. You can also tweak the location value of the point light to something similar. Add some volume to the scene and reduce the density to 0.1. Add an empty plane axis to the viewport and change its location value in x and y axis. Select the camera, go to camera properties, enable depth of field, select the empty as the focus object and reduce f-stop to 1.2. Uh, press ctrl plus b and drag to select the render region. Now let's uh, render out the image. And that's enough for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed the content and learned something new. Uh, stay tuned to the channel for more such content.